So, you have an R10 Model 2 and you'd like to have an R12? Hmm, how about I show you how to do that? First things first. Okay, so two things you're going to need in order to uh, upgrade to an R12. One of them is going to be an R10 Model 2. The other one is going to be the cable it came with. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make this work. Now, some people have been having some issues with this, and I think I figured out what they've got going wrong. So, um, what I think is going on is... They're not upgrading the receivers correctly. So I'm either going to uh, totally bomb out or this is going to work. First thing you need is Trimble Installation Manager. So let's go to Google and let's find Trimble Installation Manager, right? Trimble, there it is because I just searched for it a minute ago. Trimble Installation Manager. Okay. Let's go in here and look. Okay, so... You can go into uh, Tim for Windows Online. You're gonna go in, you're gonna install it, and you're gonna run it, okay? Super easy. Once you get it up and get it going, it will load here on your computer, and it will be Trimble Installation Manager. There it is, okay. So you're gonna plug that cable into your receiver. It goes into the USB port side on the R10 Model 2. So once you have uh, it plugged in and you open up Terminal Installation Manager, you're going to hit Connect. Well, let me back up. First of all, here on the right hand, right hand side, left hand side, um, you've got different options. One of them is Receiver. So if you're going to update your controller, your TSC7, TSC3, whatever, you would hit Controller. Uh, but we're looking at Receiver. Okay, so we're going to go to Receiver and we're going to hit Connect. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you for a port. So, it's going to go out, read the serial number, and try to get you a, um, to make sure your receiver's under warranty, blah, 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 blah. So, and I wait, and I wait, and it helps if you have faster internet. Uh, I'll wait. Okay, so it's read the serial number. It's making sure everything's up to date. It's checking my license. Okay, this is where I think everybody's screwing up at, okay? When this thing pops up, it's looking for the latest release, 6.04. And in my case... I just put 5.44 on here. And I'm going to show you. Make sure before you update to the R12 firmware, make sure you put 5.44 on your receiver first. Not 5.43. Don't just hit the button and go, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and you're going to pull down up here and you're going to say 5.44. And you're going to load that before you load the 6.04. I think that's where people are screwing up. It's Things are like locking up on them. So if I look at mine, my firmware version is 5.44. Okay? So make sure that's where you're at. All you got to do, once you have 5.44 installed, like I said, install it, go back and reconnect again, then go to the latest release, 6.04. I'm hearing that that people are basically, their um, receivers are locking up on them, and I think that's what's going on. Um, I hit up Trimble, and I said, one of the guys at Trimble, and I said, hey, look, um, people are having issues. He said, make sure they upgrade to 5.44 first. And I think that's what he was telling me. So we're gonna hit install, okay. And you have to go this way, because what I did while ago, I, I was checking to see, I downloaded uh, offline, basically, uh, both versions, 5.44 and 6.04, and I upgraded my receiver through the Wi-Fi to 5.44. It was at 5.43. So, 
I did it. And then I said, well, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get the 6.04 the same way. Wouldn't do it. You got to go through Tim to get the 6.04 apparently. So let's see what happens. Okay. Boy, faster internet would really be nice. Um, looks like it has updated and everything seems to be working fine. It's rebooting. Let's see what it says. So as it's rebooting, if we look at what uh, what it did. It added some features in here. So, um, base 20 hertz Pro Point, which is the new engine, uh, QZSS, and um, receiver firmware. So, as soon as it reboots and does its thing. Okay, it's reconnecting with the receiver again. Okay, so if we go to device information, what we got here? Uh, firmware version, 5.44 to 6.4. So, looks like we successfully installed 6.04. So that's a trick. Make sure you upgrade to 5.44 before you upgrade to 6.04. It's going to pop up an installation manager and it's going to say 6.04 is the latest. Don't don't upgrade it without getting to 5.44 first. Fair warning because what's happening is people are going in and they'll be like at 5.43 or something they'll update and it literally locks the receiver up and they cannot connect back up to it and it's dead and they're having to send them to the office. So make sure you don't do that, okay? So that's it. That's how you upgrade to an R10 Model 2 to an R12. Hope that helps, guys. I thought I better get this out there real quick. Uh, I'm working on some other videos for you. Um, whew, mercy, uh, November, December was pretty slam for me, so I wasn't able to get much done. Uh, by the way, my new Christmas present, actually a 90 horse John Deere tractor. That's the reason I got the John Deere hat on. Maybe get John Deere to sponsor me. You think that's possible? So, um, anyways, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. So, I, uh, I know that you guys are, are enjoying these videos. So, um, man, God bless. Thanks a lot. Keep watching. Uh, more stuff coming up. I'm going to do some stuff with the R12 and things like that. So, you guys like and subscribe. Thank you very much. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next video.